good evening Lizzie boys and welcome back to my channel. Today I figured we should do another Rainbow High review because I still have some dolls over there that need some reviewing. But before that, really quick, I wanted to show you this thing that I found at Walmart today because I've never found a good sale like this. Ever. So some of you may know that I am a fan of the OMG tweens, well the LOL tweens, and I found Gracie today for $6.75. I have never found a sale like this before in my life. I don't know why she's so cheap. I don't know if there's something wrong. The box is perfect. I I genuinely don't understand why this one was only $6. Well, $7. But like, <laughs> and it says save $2.25. So was this doll $9 before? Why was she so cheap? All the other ones were 11 I don't know why this one was so cheap specifically, but hey, it's a win. But anyway, we're not reviewing her today. We're actually going to be reviewing Miss Lola Wild over here. Here she is. Sorry, Claudine. Today we're going to be reviewing the Shadow High costume ball, Lola Wild, the Werecat. Let's get into it. Here's her scanner if you happen to need it. I don't think you do though, because these dolls have started to be found by everyone, it seems. But I still wanted to give Lola a review, because I bought her, and these dolls are expensive, and reviews help me recuperate at least a little bit of the money that I spend on them. So. Today, we're taking a look at her. She's a special edition so that they can charge the $40 price and not have anyone question it. And on the back of the box, we see her friends. Fun fact, Eliza only got one line in the whole episode, as they call it in the commercial. But it's not actually an episode. It's confusing, okay? So we've got Demi, Eliza, and Lola. The Rainbow Vision costume ball is nearly as fierce as the competition itself. Which school are you rooting for? Did you guys know that the Royal 3-1 Rainbow Vision, they leaked it? On the side, we see that Lola is a cosmetology focus. And there she is, bright pink. Lola Wilde is bringing out the claws for the Rainbow Vision costume ball. She's a cosmetology focus, and eye-catching nail art is where she really shines. Where's that nail art? I want to see it. Is that it? Well, nothing left to do now but unbox her, so let's do that. Oh, look at that. You can see my legs reflecting in there. My shorts look really short here. That's awkward. Here is Lola. She's very bright in person. Not what I would expect from Shadow High. But, you know. She's, like, still gorgeous. I absolutely adore her face-up. It's really the face-up that does it for me. That's what, like, cemented that I needed to get this doll. Just a warning, be careful while cutting her shoes out of the box because they do have real laces. So, you know. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally chop those off, so. Just a little warning to you guys. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Fresh out of the box, her hair is pretty big and bouncy already. I really like this style of curl, it's very cute. It's nice, I like it, they're kind of like ringlet curls. Is that what they're called? I'm sorry, I don't know many cosmetology terms. I got my hair cut today and they were using those and I had no idea what they were talking about. She's very pretty. She looks really nice, wow. As I mentioned, the face is definitely what does it for me the most, it's just gorgeous, the makeup. Mm, I'm eating this up. Okay, so her thing is there, but with everyone else, it's been behind them. Thank you, Lola, for giving me an easier time, I guess. Like, this will be way easier to get out than, like, digging my hand under that. Hopefully. I'll do my best. Honestly, for as much as I like Lola, I do want Shadow High to go back to making, like, black and white characters soon. Because I was worried that the whole line was going to be monochromatic, and that was why I was complaining about it. I was like, oh, I don't know how well a fully grayscale doll line would do. But then they showed us that it's not going to be fully grayscale with the Storm Twins, then Ainsley, then Neon Shadow. I was like, oh, cool, they're making a couple characters that are, like, in color. Now that's all they're doing. I think that's my main issue with it. The only monochromatic character we're getting is the Black Boy in um Series 2. Yeah. I, as much as I love Lola, she's so much fun. I do want to see them go back to darker colors soon, because Shadow High was interesting when it was a fully monochromatic doll line. It looked amazing. And now it just feels kind of disordered, I guess. I don't know, but I love these cat ears. They're so cute. Mm. Let's just go back to talking about Lola. Also, I freed the card. It's bent. I didn't do that. It just came that way. And the experience is just the little episode that I've mentioned in all four of these videos that I've made because I've reviewed four costume party dolls. 
Remember when I said I was done with Rainbow High and then this line came out and I remembered that I still wanted it? So here is a quick overview of Lola fresh out of the box. This one actually has pretty well painted nails. Um, all the other ones I've gotten have either like been missing significant amounts of paint on the nails or the fingers have been painted and like this doll's no exception. There is still paint on her fingers and there's some weird, some weird shit in her, in her fur. What is that? What is this? Get off. Gross. She's got little rings. Very cute. I can't actually tell what they are, but, you know, little ring details, it's cute. I don't think there's supposed to be anything specific. Oh yeah, and there's also these, like, ties in the fur. I can't get those off, because I'll cut the fur. You know, actually, I don't care if I cut the fur, come here. Ugh, the fur all has this gross lining inside. Ugh, looks so nasty. Also, she has a new edge mold. Like a new baby hair mold. It's very pretty. I really like it. I like these two like identical swirls here at the front. I just wanted to point that out because typically they give new characters like their own edge mold when they have them. I just thought it was cool. I like it. I just like how they sculpt the dolls, like their faces. Like I'm pretty sure she has the Lily face. She has Lily's face mold and I think that's why I like her face so much. It looks very similar to Lily's face, at least. Can anyone confirm if this is Lily's face? So she also wears these socks, which keep falling down, but they're supposed to go higher than her knees. I can't move them. That was like the weakest. <laughs> I can't move them. She has these really cute heels, too, that have like these claws. They almost look like cleats. She's kind of a sporty girl. She's wearing cleats and they kind of look like claws, which is like a double thing because she's a cat too. I'm trying to like see the soles of her shoes. Oh yeah. These are cleats, just without the center cleats. It's kind of cute actually. I dig it. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I fixed her socks. They go like slightly above her knees. So that's fun. Her skirt is pretty cute. Similar to all other Rainbow High dolls, these are actual pockets. Stick your fingernail in them. You could even stick her fingernails in them if you want. You can put things in them. She has this cute belt that says shadow, and it would go right around her waist, but I had to put the stand on, so it's kind of sticking out awkwardly. There are faux zippers on top of the real zippers. Very cute. She's got some faux fur going on right here. It's actually very soft and plush feeling. Got some fuzz here, some fuzz here, the same faux fur here and whatever this material is called. I don't know what it is. Overall, she's super cute. Turn her to the side and we can see her earrings, which say SH, Shadow High. And there's an H on the ear right there. And this one has an SH. Do they both have the S and the H? Cause I swear this one just said H. Oh no, it says SH, okay. I just, I can't read. So she's got very big hair, very large curls, and I love it. I do think Rainbow High needs to mix it up with the hairstyles more often, so seeing them actually do that in this line was nice. Like, Bella had the same hairstyle as always, but at least we got Lola with all of these super fun bouncy curls, and Demi with her vampire bangs. It's nice to see that this line has been mixing it up. Basically, they've been doing that, I think, since around... I think series three was the first time we got hairstyles that weren't just two big curls. We did still get it like twice though through Gabriella and Cheryl. I'll, I'll finish this later. My girlfriend and I are having a heated debate over Nightcore, specifically the fact that I never liked it and she doesn't believe me. All right, I kind of think I've gone over everything I wanted to. So now all I really want to do is put her next to some other Shadow High dolls and see how she squares up. These two will do. So obviously these two are from the same line, so they're on the same, like, level in terms of quality, I would say. Although I do much prefer, um, Demi. I just think her outfit's more well done, looks more like a costume compared to what Lola's wearing. This looks like a costume, but not like a werecat specifically. I just don't get werecat energy from her. 
As for Luna, I brought her over here to remind you guys what Shadow High used to look like when they were all monochromatic. So I think that Shadow High has stayed pretty consistent in terms of quality f the whole time. I think that's like pretty obvious. Like I would say Luna and uh, Lola, Luna and Lola are on pretty equal like terms, levels, pretty equal levels of quality. Honestly, I don't know what I'm comparing. I just wanted to see if like there's been any changes in terms of like the quality from series one of Shadow High to now with Costume Ball, cause did Shadow High come out this year? Or was it last? I feel like it was this year. But I don't know. I could totally be tripping out right now. Be completely wrong. <laughs> God, when... I, I think it was this year. Yeah, because Haunt Couture was this year. Holy fucking shit. MGA makes so many dolls in a year. All the Shadow High releases have been this year. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was- I like making doll review. So, if you'd like to see another review, I still have Phaedra and Junior High Bella. And now I have Gracie from the tweens, who I'm probably not going to review. I'm probably just going to unbox her myself. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!